now in the previous session we have seen how to add a node in the beginning of a linked list in the end of a linked list and in the middle of a linked list okay and you can even write a program to add a node at any given position right so that is a very simple program uh, just by using for example you are using this uh, add a node in the middle of a linked list using the count node function and this count node function was giving you some number that is some count that is at what position you want to add a node right then you can do some similar modifications in that count node function and then you can add a node into any given position you want right now let us see a program uh, to delete the nodes so what we are going to cover here is we are going to cover how to delete a node from the beginning of the linked list from the end of the linked list and from the middle of the linked list right and then we'll be seeing what are the operations which we have to perform while deleting a node okay so let us suppose we are having this uh, given linked list now so we are having this linked list right now in this linked list we are having some data and these are some there are some there will be some addresses so let us suppose this is the address 1000 this is 2000 this is 3000 this is 4000 okay and this will be storing 2000 here it will be storing 3000 here it will be storing 4000 and it will be storing null right and this is the head it is storing 1000 and there's some data which is present in this given linked list and the data can be small a b c and d right and now the first program which we are going to do is delete a node so the first program which we are going to do is delete a node from the beginning of the linked list from the front or the beginning okay that means in this node in this given linked list we want to delete this front node right now if you want to delete this front node what are the operations which you need to perform right if you want to delete this node then you have to make head point to this memory location plus you have to free this given memory free this uh, memory okay so we will write a function which is going to take the address of the uh, fr first node that is address of the head right and then we are going to delete the front node of this linked list okay so the function will be delete so we just write it here delete begin okay and here i am taking node star head that means we are taking the address of the front node of the linked list right and then in this front node we want to delete this front node and we want to make this head point to the next node right and then how will you delete this front node so we will be using a function called as free right so whenever we pass an address of any given location to this free this free function is going to free that memory space okay so what we are going to do is we have if we have we are going to free this memory space in that case the pointer to the next node will be lost therefore we are we have to take one more pointer which will point to this node okay so while we are freeing this memory correct so what we are going to do is uh, right so we are going to do node star p okay and we can also do one thing we can also make a pointer to point to this node while we make head point to the next node okay so let us suppose we are going to this thing so what we are going to do is we are going to make a function which is going to this front node while we make head point to the second node okay so node star p and then this p is equal to head that means p and head both are pointing to the same location right and now i am doing head is equal to head next okay where next is this link part so this is the data part and this the part which is storing link is the next part okay and this is the next part and so on this is the data part right 
so we are doing head is equal to head arrow link that means head is now going to store the address of the next node right with the, uh, how we are going to store the address because this link part of the front node is going to store is storing 2000 and then we access this link part and whatever the data which is present in this link part we are going to store the data into the head so head is now pointing to the node 2000 okay so when head is pointing to the node 2000 in that case head is no mo more pointing to this front node so that we can free this memory okay so what we are going to do is now is free p because p is pointing to this front node correct because of this st this statement right and now after freeing this memory we can just return the address of the first node of the link list which is now po pointed by head so we are going to do return head okay so this will be our program to delete a node from the beginning of the link list now this program is returning head which is of type pointer pointer of type node so we have to write node star here okay so this will be a first approach uh, how you can delete a node from the beginning of the link list now in the second approach what you can do is you can make one more pointer which will point to this second node so you can just do one more pointer so which is point which is going to point to this second node and then you can free the first node by using head and then in head you can store the address of the second node so this is also you can do okay now let us write a program to delete a node from the end of a link list right so if you want to delete a node from the end of the link list that means you have to reach to the end of the link list okay so let us see how to write this program 